हे गाइज वॉट्स अप इन बेस्ट रेडी हियर एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एक्साइटिंग विजुअल इफेक्ट ट्यूटोरियल टुडे आई विल नॉट शेयर ऑल द स्टेप टू क्रिएट विजुअल इफेक्ट बिकॉज आई ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड अ मेनी ट्यूटोरियल्स ऑन माई चैनल विच यू कैन गो दे आर एंड लर्न जस्ट लाइक ट्रैकिंग क्रिएटिंग रियलिस्टिक लाइट एक्सेट्रा टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू फोकस ऑन द कोर कॉन्सेप्ट फॉर क्रिएटिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ विजुअल इफेक्ट और दिस काइंड ऑफ इफेक्ट विच यू कैन यूज एंड create some cool visual effect for your you know cgi videos so yeah let's get started this video i would like to introduce one of my amazing course modern visual effect so if you are interested to learn visual effect and you are new to this field and you want to learn also blender by creating this visual effects i will highly recommend to check modern visual effect it has total 7 different chapters five different effect and two chapters are dedicated for the basics just like the first chapter is for the basics second chapter is all about the tracking and rest five is dedicated to different visual effect like green screen how you can do and composite 3d object into real world and also recently i included the iphone visual effect which has 37 millions of views on instagram and i share all the step by step tutorial into my new course so yeah you can go there and check it okay so here i am on blender.org and uh, i will go down and go to the blender download download blender experimental and i will choose blender 4.2 and just download it i will go to the blender 4.2 4.2 beta and i will open this pin this into the taskbar and uh, i'll use the older version preferences okay I'll delete everything. This is in beta, so maybe it will crash on some portion. So you have to take care of. I'll go to the edit preferences, and here we'll find the extension. I can allow access, and here I can also search some new add-ons called like a screencast, and I can simply install this. So it will directly install it over here. I don't have to go and you know download it from online. And let's suppose if you have something, I'll click here go to install from disk. Okay, so if I press N and here I can enable the screencast keys. So yeah, let's start building the scene. So before creating the scene, here is a you know idea. Let's create a plane and let's create a cube and just move it over here. Just make it small and apply the scale. Press tab to go inside the edit mode and subdivide multiple times. And if I go to the object, quick effect, and here is your option called quick explode. Once you apply it, let's play and you will see something is happening. Let's go here and add a collision. So you will see what's going on. Some weird, st weird stuff going on. So anyways I will show you how we can refine this and how we will control it and create a good looking simulation. So yeah this is the basic idea and let's create and let's start building our scene. Since I am sharing all of my experience of you know how to track your scene and etc there are multiple videos which I already made so you can go there and check and learn the step how you can track any scene and based on that you can you know put this effect on that location. So here mainly I want to focus on the creating the effect so yeah let's get started so I will need a few things so I will go to the older version of my blender which I use regularly and here I will I'm using a blender kit and search product and let's go to the filter and choose free first and there is a you know a multiple cream mocap available so I'm going to use this one you can use anyone and you can also go to the sketch fab and download but I'm a, I, I would like to use this one and I just basically unparented these things all right so now I have I have this basic you know cream model you can also download it from sketch fab it's easy for you I guess and here first let's create a plane and increase the size apply the scale go to the file and choose append save the cream model append and go to the collection and choose cream and you will see you can see this is our model so i will scale it by selecting both rz 90 
and I am using Blender 4.2 first time. So here I am also noticing the shadow. Here are uh, you know few options available. So which we will talk later if we will need. But let's build our scene first. Okay. So I will create a new cylinder. I'll just make the scale the size down and just move it over here. Let's set smooth. And once you satisfy with the size press tab and go inside the edit mode press ctrl r and add some edge loops so these are i guess enough and here i will also notice this front face does not have more geometry or segments so i will select this by going to edit mode by pressing 3 because we are selecting the face and press i and i will keep doing again and again so we have segments over here and same i will do for the back face as well as so now uh, here I will rename this to the main building and this is cream so let's enable x-ray view so that I can see that and I will scale it until it cover something like this okay I will also select this both control a and apply the scale and same I will do with the building so let's do the texturing first go here and choose shader editor and i downloaded a texture from ambient cg i guess this i will provide the link you can go there and check it so i will simply copy the path and here i'll apply a new material and select this and control shift t and control v and now i will go to this display mode i will change the display mode like this and i will choose the color roughness normal and metalness this should be fine if you want you can use also the displacement so here it will automatically plug and if i go to the rendered mode you can see and here i will go to the scale properties and uh, let's select all these three and make it five or maybe six six is looking good and if you want you can control these things by your hand like okay or if you are using the texture you can also use color ramp in between to customize even more looks uh good to go i'll select this and let's go to the timeline and as we did previously we will do the same i will select this and go to the object quick effect and i will choose the quick explode and you will notice in the modifier tab let me go to the solid view and you will notice in modifier tab it added a particle system and a explode modifier and if i play you will see we have something like this which i will tweak and i will also let you know how you can customize it even more and get some good result so i'll go to the particle tab and here is a option for the emission so basically this number controls the amount of particles we have like how much chunks you want your object to you know shatter or you know explode so in this case i will go something around 15 because i don't want too much later we can also increase or decrease it this frame start this frame start and end is a uh, basically when you want this to explode so let's suppose i will go for the five frames so in the five frames it will hold and once this five frame will come it will you know explode this let me go with the 25 and there are a bunch more settings like velocity i'm going to keep it down add a new force field called wind and i will just rotate it a bit and keep it over here and also i can move this into a new collection called force and if i'll go to the physics property here i can control this force so let's make it 12 and uh, let me play so you can see this wind is affecting this control s first to save this so here first i will just correct the axis because i want to make them you know going up i'll select this and uh, I'll go to the particle settings and here I'll just down this to the point of one and I can also enable the rotation and here I can play with the randomized rotation you can see like this and uh, even I can go to the field weight and here I can just down the gravity a bit so that it will go up not go down okay. so you can control these things according to your need next thing once you are satisfied with this so right now I am leaving these things over here and if you will feel something else we'll come back later and we'll modify these things next thing i want to build the cloth like i want to make these chunks behave like a cloth so i will apply a cloth modifier over here and go into the preset and i will choose the cotton and here in the quality sub step or quality steps i will choose 8 and i will go down and here in the option called collision i'll enable self collision and uh, let me play 
and you can see so our cloth is start behaving on one frame but our explored stuff is happening in on five frame to make also cloth start behaving on the same i will go to the catch and here i will simulation start five and if i play you can see this is how it will behave and the next thing i will select this ground and just make this to the collision so our cloth will also interact with this ground you can see really nice and also i can go to the modifier tab select this modifier tab and also i can use a subdivision surface modifier you can see and this look really really nice and guys let me disable for now i can also go to the force field and choose turbulence press m and move this into the force section and just add it over here and also go to this physics tab and here i can play with the strength size and flow so make the strength 5 and size and flow to 1 and here is a important stuff called fall off i will use the minimum and maximum distance so maximum here and minimum like very less you can see over here so if i want i can add one more like this side and you will notice this simulation stop working on something around this frame so the reason why it's happening because of the particles so i will select this and go to the particle section and here is a lifetime which i have to increase so it depends on your you know end frame so in this case let's go with the this 100 for now and uh, let me play and you will see this is what we will get and if i'll go to the rendered mode and here in the ev this is behaving unnaturally let's go to the cycles and choose gpu and uh, you will notice this is what we have and let me enable the denoise and let me make it 32 and go here and disable extra and if i want i can just disable this whole thing and if i'll play you will see this is what we have let's go to the this view actually and let's play and you will notice this is what we get and if you are if you face any issues on the material you can go to the shader editor and you will notice we have a few other materials going on let me move like this i guess these are the new material which created by default because of that you know a uh, particle and other stuff to uh so what you can do more you can you know select this and you can bake the whole simulation and after that you can just simply plug this and this can also work you can see so let me enable this and let me play and uh, you will notice this is what we got so let me quickly create a 3d scene by just adding some uh, few things ez control apply the scale and after this i can you know add some more light to our scene so let's add some first let me disable this scene world go to the environment environment texture let's make it a bit down and let's add a real light let's move it top you know i can select the ground as well as and maybe you can just make it make the roughness high or just make it less and you can also on top of that you can add coat duplicate this light and put it over this side duplicate one more time and add in front and just make the size 4 so basically we added couple of lights over here and maybe i can bump the intensity a bit high to create something like this scene and i can shift a and add a camera control alt and number pad 0 and in the camera settings i will use maybe 35 sorry uh like 55 and in the output properties i will make it 1080 by 1080 and just make it render reason go to the items review and just frame it properly and even if you want you can just do a simple camera motion this this will go and it will add the keyframes go to the end and uh, this maybe can work i and uh, let me go to the solid view first to check this motion this is good 
or you can select and just make it T to add a linear motion I and uh, this is also looking really nice I guess and guys another pro tip I want to share with you let's disable this camera to view let's in some cases you want to keep a certain you know a uh, portion of the building still there and you don't want to you know uh, explode so on that scenario you can select the building press tab to go inside the edit mode and you can use the weight paint okay and I will select this gradient tool and let's apply this something like this over here and it will add a group new group in the vertex group and you can rename this to the like still and uh, I will go to the object mode and I will go to the modifier and here in the explode tab there is a vertex group I will choose this still and based on this protect it will keep protect that object so protect that portion so I'll add one refresh and let me play and you will see you can see that below portion portion is still there and here you will notice this is collapsing so I will select the cap and go go to this physics properties and add a collision same for the cream and now if I'll play you will notice this is what we are you know facing okay so i guess i should uh, you know this is a cap so i guess uh, let's make the friction one and let's uh, this is how it will behave like it will keep the you know other parts there it will explode the other part but it will keep the you know lower part and in this way you can you know create some good looking uh, you know animations and uh, visuals into your scene i hope you got the idea and uh, for more thing i will try to add this into real life and i i hope that will you know motivate you a lot so thanks for watching this video thanks for loving me i am in 3d and i will try to keep sharing you know useful things over here so for that for watching those video i will consider you to subscribe our channel and you can also take a look of our amazing course modern visual effect that will help you a lot if you are planning to do you know visual effect ads cgi ads so thanks for watching this video i am in pest ready and i will see you next time until then keep working keep smiling bye bye and take care And you can also down this object collision in cloth to you know make it more contact with this plane and also for the plane you can select the plane and in the collision tab just make this thickness outer low so that well it will interact more you know closely with the ground so yeah thanks for watching this video guys bye bye and take care